Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this integral from the 2022 Harvard Integration Final Question 3 for you guys. So, why don't we just get into the question? Well, we are actually going to use trig substitution to solve this question. But what should we let x to be? Well, if you can tell on the denominator, we have square root of 1 minus x squared. So this implies that we should let x to be sine of something. I'm going to use t in this case, because later in the video we are going to use u. So, if you just let x to be sine of t, then we know that dx will be cosine of t dt. Right? And then we can do a bounce. So, when x is equal to 1, we can tell that t will be pi over 2. And when x is equal to 0, t will be 0. Okay? So, our new integral will just be the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the top stays the same, ln of x, which is sine t. In the bottom, we see, if we plug in x equal to sine t, then we have square root of 1 minus sine squared of t. That is cosine squared of t. Take the square root, just cosine of t. And the dx, which is cosine of t dt. And look, cancel, cancel. Nice. So then we know that this is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine t dt, right? And look, we have set i to be this, so then we know that i is also equal to this. But now what do we do? Well, if you watched one of my previous videos, then you know that between 0 and pi over 2, sine t and cosine t can actually swap. And if you don't know why, you can watch one of my previous videos. So this is also equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of cosine of t. So if we know that i is equal to this and i is equal to this, then a very typical way is just to add them up. So we are actually going to do that. So then if we add them up, then we see that 2i will be equal to Still, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of, you see that, if we add two laws, then we know that it's just equal to one single law, but the inside is sine t times cosine t. So, law of sine t cosine t. Okay? Hmm. Now what do we do? Well, we can see that the integrand, or the thing inside of the lawn, is just one half of sine of 2t, right? So we can just change it to that. So this is still in, equals to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of 1 half sine of 2t. Okay? Hmm. Look. We can actually separate this ln, which is a product of 1 half and sine of 2t, into the sum of two integrals. The first one is just ln of 1 half. The second one is ln of sine of 2t. So I'll rub this out. So we see that this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of... So like I said, we can separate this into two integrals. The first one is just ln of 1 half, don't forget the dt, and then plus the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of 2t. Dt. And we can first evaluate this because this is super simple. The answer is t times ln of 1 over 2. Plug in the bounds, we see that it will just be pi over 2 times ln of 1 over 2.
Okay, now what do we do here? Well, we can do a very simple u sub. Just let u to be 2t. So if I let u to be 2t, then we see dt is just 1 over 2 du. And if we do the bounds, when t is equal to pi over 2, u is pi. And when t is equal to 0, u is 0. So then, this becomes pi over 2 ln of 1 half. And then plus, now it's the integral from 0 to pi. Of what? Well, it's the ln of sine 2t is u. Then dt, which is 1 over 2 du. And we can easily take out the 1 over 2 to the outside. Okay, now what do we do? Well, if we look, so we are going to use this, but not yet. Because the bounds are different. So how do we make them the same? Well, since we know that sine of u is symmetric about pi over 2 from 0 to pi, then we know that 1 half of an integral from 0 to pi of something something sine is just the same as the integral from 0 to pi over 2. So I can just simply change this to pi over 2, and this is gone. Okay. Hmm. But there's still one thing different. This is a u and that's a t. But u and t are just dummy variables, so we can just change them. So if we just change the u into a t, then this becomes pi over 2 ln of 1 over 2 plus the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine t dt. And like I said, this is now i. So we can just replace this with an i. Okay, and look, we know that 2i is equal to all of this. So this is equal to 2i. If we move the i to the right hand side, then we can find that i is just pi over 2 times ln of 1 over 2. So this is the final answer of the Harvard 2022 final question 3 of the integration B. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy my videos and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.